Welcome you nine to this next video. Um, this is a following on from the previous video which was uh, looking at the AAA test which was the angle 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 test for similarity which proves that two triangles uh, are similar. Now what we're going to look at are the other three tests. So there's four of them all together. We've looked at one. There are three left to look through and that's what I'm going to go through in this video. Now the first one that we look at is, uh, it's written up here, the SSS test. Now this stands for side, 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 so nice and straightforward. And what I've done is written here for us a definition. Now what the side, side, side test means is if we match up the sides of one triangle with the sides of another one. So if you've got two triangles and all three sides are shown, what we can do is we can match up the corresponding sides. Now, if these these sides make the same ratio of lengths, if if all three sides, uh, when we pair them up, the ratio is the same, then the triangles are similar. Now, we don't need to know the angles at all, only the three sides. Now, if that works, then we we can uh, we've basically proved yes, they are similar triangles. So basically what I'm saying is the similarity ratio, which is what we've been looking at, or uh, another word for that is the scale factor, that is the same for each pair that we match up. Let's have a look at this diagram to help us out a little bit. What I can do is if I have a look at this, I've got this side here and I've got a, a side length of three and a six on that one there. I've got two on this one and four on the other. As you can see, these are not drawn to scale. I've got six along the bottom and 12 along the bottom as well. So let's do the scale factor here. If I go, say, 12 over 6, that should be equal to 6 over 3. And that should be equal to 4 over 2. So let's check that. 12 over 6 is 2. 6 over 3 is 2. 4 over 2 is 2. So yes, each pair of corresponding sides here, when we set it up in a ratio, it was equal to the same thing. It was equal to 2. So these two triangles here, these two, they are similar triangles. So that's the side, side, side test or the SSS test. The next one I look at, want to look at is called the SAS test. So you might have guessed, yes, it's called the side angle side test. Now, the way this one is written is really, really important. It's written with the A in the middle, the angle in the middle. And this should always give you uh, a little reminder that the angle is between the two sides. Angle is in between the two sides. Okay, now this is really important. Now, if we look at the definition, please. The ratio of the lengths of two pairs of sides, so two this time. In the last test, it was all three. If we've only got two sides showing uh, on our triangles, if we've got two of those pairs of the matching sides, uh, oh, have I written this right? The, oh, yeah, ratio. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if the ratio of the two sides are equal. So the actual sides themselves are not equal. That's what I thought I'd written. The ratio of them, they need to be equal. So let's, we pair them up and then we check that ratio just like I did in the first slide. The th other bit of information that we need to prove that these are similar is this section here, that the angle in between the sides is equal. So two sets of matching sides, as we can see, S, A, S, so two S's there. Two sides must be in the same ratio. The angle between them must be the same. Here's a case here where we've got, let's have a look. We'll compare the corresponding sides. So as we can see, we've got this base of the triangle here and that one over there. So this as a ratio would be 30 over 10. And what we want to do is check with the other pair of sides that we've got. So we've got the 9 and the 3. So let's check. Are these equal? 30 over 10 is 3. 9 over 3 is 3. They are equal. Fantastic. What we can do now, now that we know they are similar, we know they're similar because they satisfy this test here, the side angle side test. I'm actually going to write the similarity statement now. 
This means that triangle ABC is similar to triangle. Now I've got to write it in the same order. Remember, ABC corresponds here to DEF. And what I do is in brackets, I say, what is the test that proves that they are the same? And it is the SAS test. And there we go. Let's have a look at the final test now. It's called the RHS test. And what this stands for is right angle. H is for hypotenuse, which we know what that is from our studies of trigonometry and uh, Pythagoras. Hopefully you can remember that. And S stands for side. So right angle, hypotenuse, side. Let's look at the definition. The ratio of the hypotenuses, so the two longest sides of the triangle, of two right angle triangles, so we know we, we must see a right angle in both of them, equals the ratio of another pair of sides. So we're, we're looking at not just the hypotenuse, but one other pair of sides needs to be equal. That ratio needs to be equal. Then the two triangles will be similar. Let's have a look at the diagram. Well, first of all, I can see I've got two right angles. So already I should start to think, well, is the RHS uh, test, is that going to work for these triangles? I am given the two hypotenuses. Here we go. We've got four of that, the larger one, two on the smaller one. I'm also given another side length. So in this one, I've got three. And on that one there, that corresponds... I've got 1.5. So let's check it. Let's do the hypotenuses first. 4 over 2. The other side, 3 over 1.5. Now, am I right in putting this equal sign? Well, 4 over 2 is 2. 3 over 1.5 is 2 as well. So yes, this works. They are the same. Therefore, the RHS rule has been satisfied here. We've got two right angles, we've got the hypotenuse in the right ratio, we've got another set of sides in the same ratio. Let's write the statement then. Triangle PQR is similar to triangle TUV. And my reason, RHS, that's what goes in the bracket. When proving similar triangles, that must be put there. That the, the correct test must be shown in the bracket. So there we have it. Three of the tests, uh, and remember, refer to the first video that I did uh, uh, called AAA test because that runs us through the very first one. That was when all three angles were the same. So we have AAA in summary. We have SSS, we have SAS, and we have RHS. That is the four there, and we need to be very familiar with these. Thank you very much for listening.